guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing a condo tour but this is actually going to be an empty condo tour but the reason that I'm doing it empty is because I actually tried to film it film this like furnished and everything and yeah I just didn't love it to say the least I haven't been living here for about four months now since I've been living down at the beach so it was just it wasn't in the state that I honestly wanted to show it in. I was very self-conscious of it. The style of it does not like represent my style now because I decorated this when I was um, 18 and 19. So it's just so different than my style now. But I still wanna show you guys where I was living for the last five years because I never did a proper condo tour. So the state that it's in now is completely moved out. I actually settle today when you guys are watching this i'm really excited to show you guys the space and i recorded the entire vlog of me moving out of here so that is going to be up next week and then after that i'll be in my new apartment and i'm so excited if you guys want real time updates just be sure to follow my instagram which is at tori sterling underscore i post all my stories like just what i'm doing throughout the day and in real time like when i move and stuff like that it's also all on my instagram so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this empty condo tour i'm very excited to show it to you guys and let's get started so we are standing at my front door and the way that my condo works is I'm on the second level, so right when you open up the door, you're greeted with stairs. So you have this little entryway right here. This is my door, that's my neighbor. And then, yeah, so right here I had like a little fake plant and like a little side table. I honestly never used this. I just made it look a little pretty for an entryway. Um, but yeah, that's what was there. So let's head up the stairs. Also, one thing that I'm going to say is that I'm going to try really hard to orient you guys because it's so hard for me to watch condo tours or apartment tours and they just like jump around and I'm like, okay, where are we in relation to the space? So I'm going to try really hard to make sure you guys are always oriented. So at the top of the stairs, there is this coat closet, squeaky coat closet. Obviously, this is where you'd put, you know, coats and things. So then directly from the coat closet, I'll give you a 360. So you got a kitchen, laundry room. That's what I use as my dining area. And then a living room. Little balcony. Stairs to go upstairs. That's where I put my TV. That was my upstairs, that's where my room is, or was. And then right underneath that, so now the kitchen's over here, laundry room is back there. This is where the dining area was. That's my um, second bathroom in here. And then it leads right into a guest bedroom or bedroom number one and the store also open so they like all connect like the bathroom and the guest bedroom they all connect so it's almost like like I can stick my hand like around like this door frame right there and then we're in the second bedroom this is a big overview that I'm doing <laughs> um, and then the closet so that's the overview so let's head back to the front so we'll start um, right here at this little bar. So this was super useful. I would always just like sit here and do some work It was just nice to kind of switch it up. I'm a big couch person So I would constantly be working at my couch eating on my couch. I'm just a big couch girl so every now and then when I would bring it to the countertop I Would always do so much better. So I have these two black bar stools that were right here that I'm actually bringing to the new apartment So you guys will see them this kitchen you guys have seen a million times in my videos it is a pretty nice kitchen um i never did a ton of work i actually didn't do really any work to my condo because i just knew it wouldn't like go so up in value so i never really invested a lot of money into it but um if i were to like redo everything i'd probably add like a little backsplash right here i also probably would have painted the 
um, cabinets again, or I would have just swapped out this hardware. Now, again, I owned this, I did not rent it, so I could have done whatever I wanted to it, but I also just knew that this place wasn't gonna have like a huge, you know, valuation to it, so I never really just put a lot of money into it. Um, this is exactly how it looked when I bought it. It was a really, really great condo, so. This fridge, um, I'm excited to say goodbye to this fridge because the ice machine never worked and neither did the water. So I didn't have ice for five years. I had an ice machine for about four months that was separate and it was right here on my counter and that actually ended up breaking. So I was pretty much without ice for the entire five years that I lived here. So now ice to me is a literal delicacy and I treat it like gold. Um, also, the water never worked, so I always would have a Brita, and yeah, this was everything else. It was a great kitchen. It's super small, but it was great for me. So then right to the right of the kitchen is my laundry room. Um, so let's show you in here. So the way that I had it was super messy, and you guys will see that in the vlogs. So right here, I had actually like a like a makeshift pantry almost, and I just put like this metal thing that I got from Ikea um, just to put a lot of overflow of stuff. So that was what was there, and then I have my washer and dryer here. Um, I love these washer and dryers. I think that they're really great. I got these five years ago, but they are perfect. So anyway, this is my laundry room. It was great, it was cute, served a great purpose. I loved this laundry room. So then right from the laundry room to the right, we're back into my living and dining area. So right here is my dining area. I put in that little chandelier when I moved in. It was like a little, I don't know if that's what they're called, but I call them like a nipple-like, that's what it looks like. It was like that, but it, it was like a nipple. Um, so that was what was right there, but I just replaced it with the chandelier. And what I did right here was I actually had like a big blue banquette with a table and two chairs. So I'm bringing the table and two chairs with me to the apartment, but not um, the big banquette. We donated that. So yeah, and I'll probably get rid of the table and two chairs once I move in, but I just wanted to bring it for now until I buy a new one. Um, so I brought those with me, so you guys will also see that in a couple of weeks. But yeah, this was my dining area. And then to the right of my dining area, I also had a bar cart, which I'm bringing with me, so you guys will see that. So now if I back up and turn to the right, this was where my like living area was. So if I were to completely redo this, I would just get a really big sectional and make this super cozy comfy. Um, the reason that we never really did a sectional in here was because of this sliding door. Any sort of chase that would have come out would have blocked the slider. And I never wanted a chase to come out this way because then it would just be like, you know, kind of ugly to see just the side of it. So I never ended up doing it. But if I were to be moving in here like tomorrow and redo it all again, I would just say fuck it and put in a chase with, you know, it going this way and block a little bit of the slider because I was so uncomfortable not being on a um, sectional. I was always just on a sofa. Not that there's anything wrong with a sofa. I sound super bratty. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I'm just someone that I'm such a couch person. I literally spend most of my time on my couch that I just wish I was always in a comfier couch and in like a sectional that I could like just curl up in. So I always had a sofa right here, but if I were to redo it, I would probably do it with a sectional. Um, I had a nice big piece of furniture right here that was really handy. It held a lot of things for me. I'm gonna bring that to the new apartment and put that underneath my TV. I got a new couch for the apartment and I'm so excited for it to come in. Um, who knows if it'll be delivered on time. I feel like all couches are back ordered. So hopefully that will be in time for the vlog, but I'm so excited from, for the new couch. Then just going in a circle here, we will go upstairs last. This was where my TV was. Um, when I bought this place, they actually had the TV in like this corner. Where was it on this side? It was right over here because that's where the cable is. So I had to run a wire to get my cable here. And we actually have a wire going like where that white thing is, like there's a wire there. So I put a wire there so I could put my table up or my TV up here. This mantle, I think we got from Wayfair and they accidentally sent us two. So I gave my parents the extra one and yeah, that's the, uh, that was my living room. 
that was my little TV area. It was cute. And my fireplace is a real fireplace. It wasn't gas. So I never lit it because I was always terrified to. So I always just put candles in there. I thought it looked cute. And then directly to the left, this is my slider. Um, it needed new windows. It's always needed new windows, but I was actually able to sell it without getting new windows. So that was exciting because new windows are very expensive. So I did not really want to pay for that. And then out there is this right here is just a storage unit. Okay, so this is a really big issue. So this slider locks um, by like pushing this down and I can't ever put it back up with my long nails So I actually really used this door because I'd always break my nails and I know that sounds stupid But it wasn't functional for me So I would rarely go outside which is why I can't go outside right now because I don't want to not have this locked for the new owners tomorrow So yeah, but that's just a storage unit um, and I'll insert like a footage from my vlog in here So you guys can see what it looks like in there. So yeah, that's my storage little unit right out there so storage unit stairs to upstairs tv kitchen dining area let's head on into this so when i actually first moved oh also excuse my wardrobe all of my clothes are packed all literally the only thing i have are pajamas and workout gear so please excuse so when i actually first moved in here i used the downstairs as my living and the upstairs as my work because I was doing like pretty much just YouTube when I moved in here. So this was my master bath and my master bedroom in here. And then in 20, when was that? 2019, I moved everything upstairs and then I just like flipped. Um, so yeah, and then I had a roommate in here for a little bit. So then this was like her room um, But before that it was just my office So it was my first my master bedroom then my office then my roommate's room and then when she moved out It stayed empty and then I moved so it was easier to not move anything So this was the bathroom. So when we moved in this crack was here and my cute grandpa like fixed it for me He was so cute. So he fixed it. So every time I look at that crack, I think of him um, I don't know. It's just a cute man. So yeah, this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom with the worst lighting ever Every time I come in here, I just look horrible like I do right now Like this lighting is just horrendous, but it has this open up medicine cabinet, which is nice um, A lot of space. I didn't even look under here. I hope nothing's here Just cleaning stuff. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, and then the toilet um, I put like, you know, like what everyone does above the toilet, little decorations there. And this was the shower. So I just put a shower curtain there, but obviously I took it down. I think shower tubs should go away. Like, I think I've bathed like three times since I've been here for five years. So my new apartment does not have a shower tub. I'm very excited. It's just a shower with like a sliding glass door. So I'm so excited to not have like shower curtains and to not have a tub because I just personally don't use it. Like some people are big bath people, I'm not. I just have this fear that it's just gonna fall like once it's full, cause that's so heavy. I don't know how baths work, but whatever. Okay, I'm standing right at the vanity. So that's where my living area was. And if you go to the left, this leads into the bedroom. But if I were to also just walk out, it would also just lead into the bedroom. This is just like a little dividing wall. It's very small and narrow. So this is the bedroom. This is the bedroom on the first floor. It's a great size. Um, so the way that I had it was my bed was here, my dresser was here, I had a little bench under there, um, and then I actually had another dresser right here. Um, so yeah, this was my room, it was really, really cute. I loved how it was when it was set up. And then this was the nice walk-in closet. Before I listed my condo, I was actually thinking about making this into like a podcast studio because it didn't really have much in it, just was holding a couple things for my showings. So I was like, maybe I can make it a podcast studio because, you know, sound doesn't bounce around in there. So, well, I didn't, but anyway. Yeah, so this is the first bedroom. Okay, so now let's head upstairs because that covers the entire first floor. Everyone says something about these steps. Everyone is like, whoa, your steps. And now we're just up top. Oh yeah, I have this fan that I've turned on maybe three times. <laughs> it like doesn't go fast and the light is so dim, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so then you walk in to the left and this is what you see. So I'll also give you an overview. To the left is a full bath. 
and a linen closet. And then it's gonna swing back around. This is where we start because the door is right and like in the doorway. And then to the right, this is what you see. Do, 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 do. So yeah, this actually leads out. It's like a little window. And if you guys notice right there, that is actually a barn door and hardware that I left for the owners, the new owners, in case they want to like put a barn door on the other side of this wall right here to block this off and make it private. Um, that's what I meant to do, but I honestly just never got around to it. So left it there for them. They can do whatever they want with it. And then just finishing the circle. This is right back where we started. This was the doorway that I was standing in when I showed you guys this angle. Now what was really nice about downstairs was that it had a walk-in closet and this bedroom does not have a walk-in but it does have two closets. Um, so I had this one as like my real people clothes. So this was just one closet for that. And then right here I had a mirrored like chest that I'm gonna bring with me to the new apartment. So you guys will see that as well. Um, and that just held like, you know, my underwear and stuff. And then this was like my workout clothes. So, and my sweatshirts. So <laughs> this piece of wood has been holding a lot of weight of my sweatshirts. And yeah, so this was like my workout closet. So I'm actually gonna go to the left and go to the bathroom first. So in this bathroom, everyone says something about my sink in here as well, because this is a sink. It came with the house. I did not get to pick it and I would not pick it again because it is so impractical because um, this sink splashes onto this and then hits you in the face. So you're just literally like you get soaked like you can't really tell but like my pants like get soaked. So every time I turn this on like your whole body gets soaking wet. So I would not pick this again. It's just like a, well, I didn't pick it at all, but I would never pick it if I were to like, I wouldn't bring the sink with me. So yeah, but everyone always is like, wow, what a cool sink. And I'm just like, I think it's so random. It does not go with anything in the house, but the contractor put it in before I bought it and there it is. So there's also not a mirror here. There's like this little mirror, which I put in, but there was no like mirror here. So I had to put one in, but I took it with me. But they did give me this mirror. Um, that has a medicine cabinet behind it as well. Random, but this vanity was nice because it had great, you know, storage and stuff. I put like a, a container store organizer right here and brought that with me um, to the new apartment. It's great, and yeah, these were just nice. But they don't do soft clothes, so I hope my next apartment does. I actually totally forgot to check. Toilet, blah blah. We've all seen a toilet, and then another shower tub. So then. Going to the left, that's where we entered, right there. And this is a linen closet to our right. So in this linen closet was packed with pillows, blankets, contacts, and sheets. And yeah, it looks so much bigger now that there's nothing in it. Oh, this place is so cute. Like I'm like looking through it. I'm like, I'm so excited for the new bot or for the new owners because it's just gonna be so cute for them. Like to completely, they're like a young couple. They're just so cute. I'm so excited for them. It's a great space and it really just has so much potential to it. Um, I just personally outgrew it. It's not really my vibe. I would want hardwood. Like I would just want to completely redo everything. And like I said, like this condo is just. It's not. I just wouldn't get my money back out of it if I were to like do all that stuff. So it just didn't make sense to like completely gut it, renovate it, and like do it exactly how I wanted. Um, so that's honestly the big reason why I just ended up moving. And also the market was so hot that I got a really great deal out of this that I would have never gotten had I not sold it during this insane market. So it worked out really well. But it's such a cute place and I'm so grateful that I lived here. But I'm ready for like... I'm ready for something that's more my style. So anyway, okay. So I actually used this as like a makeshift office once my roommate downstairs moved in. Um, she doesn't live with me anymore, but when she did live with me, I had this as like two. So I initially had this as like a sitting area that I never really sat in, but it just looked cute because I had this like extra room right here. Um, and I actually have a video up where I'm like redoing this entire video or this entire space and you can see like those two chairs and a plant right there. It, it turned out really cute. But then when my roommate moved in, 
um, I had to like move my office from downstairs upstairs so then I put my office like right here and that worked out really well and then again when she moved out I just never moved it because we put the chairs down the beach and that was that so anyway I had like a little Alex 5 drawer right here which I'm also bringing to the beach I'm gonna which I'm bringing sorry to the apartment um, I'm gonna put like my makeup and skincare and stuff in there and then I had a filing cabinet which I got rid of um, but I obviously kept the papers and then I had a desk right here and the desk is going down to the beach so yeah and then there's like this window here um, and that's why this is technically considered like a loft because it's not completely closed off there's also a skylight which was super nice to bring light into the room um, but if you like sleeping in dark rooms, this is not the ideal room for you because this is always bright and this is always bright and there's always like a wasp's nest or something that's like up there in that skylight. Skylights just prove to be a big problem a lot of the time. So anyway, okay. And then moving on again, um, we'll go to the left. So I installed these cabinets. They are actually kitchen cabinets from Ikea. And I installed these for my makeup because when I moved in, I had a ton of makeup. I was doing YouTube makeup videos, so it just made sense for me to just have like a huge space for my makeup. Um, I recently donated pretty much everything in them um, and now they're completely empty, but I think that these are really, really great shelves and I'm excited to see what the new owners do with them if they do anything with them. Um, but they're like really cute. Like I put these like little lights on them so you can like light it up. It's just a really great place to like get ready and do your makeup. Um, this was definitely a game changer. It was super cute. I love them. Um, yeah, this was just like my, my makeup little area. So I love them. Okay, so then over to the right, I have like a little bench here with this big painting. I'm bringing everything in my bedroom because I loved how my bedroom was. So that's, my bedroom is so much more like my style these days, so I'm bringing everything in my bedroom. And then over to the right again, I had two nightstands, one here and one there. And then my bed was right there with some shelves above it. And then there's just my window. And that's where I put my TV. And that is my entire upstairs. Yeah, so then once again, you just walk over here and you get to look over and you can see the whole condo. And that you guys is my empty condo tour so yeah that was my empty condo tour again this was my first purchase that i made um right out of college i was 18 when i purchased this and it has been a dream to have it was a beautiful condo for me a great first step um, but i'm so excited for the next chapter and so excited to bring you guys along on it and decorate the new apartment and just make it so my vibe and so my style I'm so excited. So thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you all next week. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Next week, there's gonna be a moving out vlog of this entire condo. It's a really long video, so I think you'll love it. Um, be sure to listen to my podcast, Manifest with Tori D. Simone. It comes out every single Monday, um, anywhere that you listen to podcasts. And there will be a video podcast coming out on this channel every single Monday, starting in about a couple of weeks. I guess that's pretty much my whole spiel. Guys, thank you so much again, and I will talk to you next week when we are moving out of here. Bye, guys.